Mr. Bigley. Warning. This video contains mentions of self-harm. Please use proper discretion while viewing. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot. This is a game from over on Newgrounds called Air Pressure, and apparently this is a very short visual novel, like so short that it has three endings and we should be able to get through all three within a single video. I hope, that's my hope at least, and it has an emotional twist that goes on during the story. So let's go ahead and get started. I have no idea what this is about besides that, so hopefully it takes us off guard because I love those types of games. I met her when I was a teenager. From the second we met, she wrapped herself around my left arm and has stuck there ever since. It's several years later now. She's still here with me. Aw, that's good. Oh, hey girl. Super cute girl. How's it going? I'm not sure how I feel about her being around anymore. Uh-oh, come on, dude. She's so cute. Fine. That's good. Hey, do you know what day it is? It's the anniversary of the day we met. Of course it is. So, do you want to do anything? Huh, how about... Alright, let's just stay in or I'm going out. Ugh, I don't want to be a dick face right off the bat, so uh, let's just stay in. Let's just stay in together. You sure? That's a little boring. Oh, it can be fun. I like spending time... Like, if you're in a relationship, just spending time together is normally pretty fun. At least in my experience. Really, this anniversary doesn't mean that much to me. Wow, dude, way to be a dick. It's just another day. Excuse me? I... I mean... Uh, I'm sorry, or I'm with you all the time. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I forgot it was coming up. Huh. Don't worry. Memory is strange. This date always seems to fall out of my head. But I remember other days about... or I remember other things about this day, like the song which was playing when we met. It makes me feel a little nostalgic. Are you sure you're alright? Oh yeah, I was just thinking. About the day we met, or do you want to listen to some music? Um, how about about the day we met? About the day we met. Oh, really? Yes, I was thinking how much has changed since we met. <laughs> I hope it's good change. Actually, thinking back to how I was before we met, I realized I was much happier then. Oh man, so this... This couple has some major issues going on, and this dude probably needs to speak up, but at the same time, I'm gonna try to make him, at least in this playthrough of this, like, work through his issues and realize that he shouldn't be taking his girlfriend for granted. I mean, on the other hand, she could be doing some really messed up shit, and that could be making him miserable. She could be emotionally abusive or something like that, so I guess we'll just have to find out. Is staying here with her really such a good idea? Uh, yes, sir. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, yeah, totally. Yeah, my life is different than I could have ever imagined. But now I'm so comfortable with her that I can't imagine anything else. Oh, really? Maybe life was better before. But I can't say that life after her would be any better than it is right now. Perhaps if we work together, we can make our lives better. Yeah, see? You gotta work through your problems. Hopefully he speaks up more and, you know, makes his problems known. A couple of hours passed started to get this nagging feeling. Hey. Huh? I was wondering. Why are you here? <laughs> Dude, that's pretty rude. Or do you like me? Uh, do you like me? <laughs> what a weird question. Of course I do. But why? Why shouldn't I? I'm ashamed to admit that I'm a little paranoid about this. I don't know. I think I'm not a very nice person or maybe I need more friends. Hmm. Probably that I'm not a very nice person. I'm having all these nasty thoughts about her. I mean, granted, she didn't give a very specific reason why she liked me to begin with, but that's not really my... or that's not her problem. That's my problem. I should probably, like, follow it up and be like, yeah, but, like, what? Maybe we're both just complacent. I don't know. But I'm not a very nice person. You seem nice to me. Hmm. Besides, you can rely on me to keep you nice. Huh? Is that what I really rely on her for? Is that all I get out of her of being with her? Uh, yes or no? Uh, no, there's totally more to it. I, I guarantee it. I'm waiting for some, like, weird twist where it's gonna end up, like I said, like, maybe she's emotionally abusive, or maybe he's, like, way too codependent on her, or something like that. No, that's not the only reason I like to have her around. 
She's such a part of my life now. She's almost a part of me. Aw, well that's a sweet thought at least. Maybe I do rely on her too much. Like I, said, like I said, guys, maybe he's just too codependent on his partner here. But is that so bad? While she's around, I feel like I can be a better person. It was the day after our anniversary. I was feeling some sort of nervous excitement. It was hard to stop my hand shaking. Uh, thinking about us or just thinking? Um, thinking about us. Now, just to let you guys know, obviously I'm not being very honest and truthful as a protagonist right now. He has all this inner monologue where he's clearly disturbed about something, but I keep pushing the fact that he's being positive and wants to feed into this relationship with the hope that these choices make it so that they maybe have some sort of reconnection and are able to communicate a little bit more fluidly. So, thinking about us. I was just thinking about us. And that's the other thing too, guys. You know, if you're in a relationship where you want to say something and you keep hiding it and pushing it under the rug and keep pretending everything's okay when it's not, it's not a very healthy thing to do. I'm actually making the protagonist quite unhealthy by doing this. But like I said, I'd rather go the good guy path the first time through. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cute. Whoa, what's happening with the graphics there? Is that me? Is this my computer? screwing up or I think that's supposed to happen huh am I seeing things for a second there it looked like like she was freaking glitching out holy crap she looked like a missing no from Pokemon all right uh get closer or wait I think we should probably get closer to her to find out what the hell's going on is this is gonna turn into a weird horror visual novel that'd be nuts it's nothing I'm sure whoa there it is again that's so freaky and strange well I've been thinking that we should this again. I think we need to be closer. There's so much more I want to know about you. Really? You mean it? Uh, yes, or wait, what was that? Uh, yes, totally. I need to find out why you're glitching. Oh my gosh, that's so freaky. Yes, I'm sure. I knew it, that I can't get by without her. Without her, it's like something important is missing from me. That night... We were closer than we'd ever been. I wonder if it's going to be like, it's just a memory of maybe a dead lover or something like that. And he's way too codependent on the memory of her and she actually passed away a long time ago or something. I don't know, it's going to be something freaky like that. I felt relief now that I'd finally done it. I know I made the right decision. Whoa, where are we? Nurse, are we like in a hospital? You're lucky this time. You didn't hit any nerves or arteries. Whoa, did we try to hurt ourselves? As if I would be that stupid. Uh, when can I go home? You have to wait to see the doctor in the morning, and we'll see then. Right. Do you feel better now? Yes. So, why did you do it? Oh man. Of course, it was no problem to talk my way out of the hospital. It was easy, because I honestly never felt so good. I felt complete. I should never have doubted that I needed her. At the end of the day, my flaws are as defining as my good characters. Or, er, qualities. I need her to carry on being- or I need her to carry on being myself. To sustain my personality. I need her to be happy. Whoa. Okay, so... Whoa, so clearly there's some other things going on there that was beyond the surface. I thought this was about a relationship, but that, I, I almost feel like the girl was, I don't know, maybe a metaphor for like self-harm or something like that. It's really weird. He kept saying over and over again that he needed her to feel good. And the fact that he went to the hospital and the nurse was like really concerned and was basically like well you didn't hit any nerves or arteries makes me think that maybe he was he was cutting and wow that that that's like a really poignant type of metaphor there to to bring that sort of subject up i'm going to by the way put a trigger warning at the front of this uh this video but i that's that's crazy to think. that That's my interpretation, at least, of this. I don't know if you guys took something else out of this, but it feels almost like she wasn't a real person. She was just a representation in his mind of his dependence on self-harm to feel better about himself. Because I know from talking to so many people who do self-harm 
that it's something that to them at least makes them feel better, whether it's due to the fact that they hate themselves so much that acknowledging that fact and embracing the fact that they hate themselves by hurting themselves, it makes them feel better, it makes them feel self-validated, or they feel super dead inside, and that makes them feel alive, that rush of adrenaline as they break their skin, something like that. And that's, that's really a terrible mindset to be in. It's awful that some people rely on that sort of pain to push themselves through life and feel alive, but it's really very interesting to see that manifested in a game like this. Um, like I said, I, I don't know if that's the true message behind this game. It could be something completely different. I might be missing the point entirely. Uh, feel free to leave your own interpretations down below in the comments. But there are two other endings, so I feel like I really need to try to find those. So let's go ahead and try those out, guys. And as we're booting up here, guys, I just realized it says, From the second we met, she wrapped herself around my left arm and has stuck there ever since. I feel like... Her wrapping herself around his arm is once again a metaphor. It's the idea of self-harm. You know, it's something that you can't escape. It's something that embraces your skin physically on your arm. And at the same time, it's something that will never let you go because it's constantly, you know, in the back of your mind. That depression or that anxiety or whatever it is that causes you to push you into that sort of mental state. And that's, that's wild. So here we are again, guys. We're at the first choice. So we have Let's Just Stay In, which we picked the first time, or I'm Going Out. I feel like if I go with the I'm Going Out route, we might be able to go ahead and find something completely different. Maybe we'll be able to make him kick his habit. So I'm Going Out. I think I'm just going to go for a walk. Uh, okay. She's so cute. It sucks that she's, like, cute because you don't want to push her away, but obviously if she's a manifestation of something bad, we need to get away from her and not be drawn in by her. I thought I would head out into the town for a while. It was busy. People everywhere. I wanted to get lost amongst the crowd for a while. Maybe even feel like a normal person for a bit. But then, I hear someone. So this is all actually, now that we have that interpretation of this being about self-harm, this is so much more real now. This is so much more desperate sounding and sad and, and hopeless. And I, I just want to let you guys know, those of you watching, I don't want this to turn into some gigantic psychological advice video or anything like that, but just know you are never alone. It might feel that way. It might feel like there are not people out there for you, but there always are, whether they're strangers on the internet who are part of a support group or whether it's your own friends or family. There is always going to be someone out there, and they're always going to care for you because you are important and you do matter. But anyway, let's continue this game. Man, I had no idea it was going to get this deep. This is, uh, this is a feels fest. I should stop or carry on. I have a feeling it's her following us, so let's carry on. I don't stop walking. Oi, are you ignoring me? You are, aren't you? Uh, no I'm not, or let's just be silent. Let's be silent to her. Hey! We have to be strong. We have to push ourselves through this. I want to be alone. I'm sorry. Right. Whatever. Uh, what are you doing here anyway? Or look, it's not you. Um. Uh, look, uh, why are you here anyway? Stupidly, I thought you needed me. Clearly, I'm wrong. Ugh. Ugh. Good. So we kind of, like, pushed her away a bit. What an idiot I am. She walked away in a huff. And I'm the idiot because I followed her. Dude, no, you can't. This is destructive. I walked beside her. Well, a little bit behind her, too. She's quiet, probably annoyed with me. Apologize, or let's just stay silent. Uh-oh, she's getting pissed. Are you going to say anything? I can't think of anything. Heh. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't want to help you anymore. Wow, she's getting vindictive. She looks pretty freaking evil here and like freaking I mean look at that at, look at the attitude on her face that is you rely on me too much I mean that's probably true or wait or I don't care I don't care oh really so you would be fine if I stopped helping you completely you wouldn't heh <laughs> you think you can get by without me to back you up well yes absolutely well, I would like to try. Heh. <laughs> and come running to me when you fail. Not if you're not going to help. 
Don't be like that. Aw, yeah, we struck a nerve with her, so we're gonna push her away. We're gonna push her bad habit away. You know, I'll always help you, no matter how bad things seem. We argued a little bit on the way at home. I think I'm realizing that I don't want her around. She can threaten me with leaving, but I think she's more scared of it than I am. It's weird that he personifies his issue, but I do know that a lot of people do that, and it allows them either to stay stuck in a pattern, which is a bad thing, or it actually helps them push it away. So hopefully this will help him push it away. We need to talk. That, that's never good. Can't we just carry on as always? It's all right, isn't it? Uh, no, or maybe. Nope, no. Sorry, I can't do this anymore. Heh. <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh, she's getting all glitchy, and she's getting pissed at us, so clearly we're saying the right things. Hopefully we're just making the idea go away. I know you. You're useless without me. Just empty, boring, like everyone else. I've made up my mind, or how dare you? Um, I've made up my mind. <laughs> I doubt it. You're too scared. Without me around, you can't do anything. Who else is going to help you? No one. Make her leave or wait for her to stop? I'm going to make her leave. I'm kicking this bitch out. Get out of here. I don't care. You have to go. No one can help you. Not as much as I can. You have to go. Oh yeah, I think we kicked her out, guys. Part of me agreed with her, with all those things she said. Of course. I knew I couldn't let myself believe her anymore. I hope I made the right decision. She was out of my life within a month. I no longer rely on her. I've gained my independence. I'm happy now. The future feels uncertain, but I'm excited to be free. I hope the day will never come when I want to see her again. Nice! Very good. So that was the good ending, I feel like. We managed to kick her out of our life. I feel like maybe there's an ending besides... Well, I mean, I know there's an ending besides that one. I'm not really sure how to get it, but I'm going to go ahead and delve in. I know I said this was going to be a short video, but I'm way too intrigued. I really want to find the last ending. So I hope that you guys are still sticking around for it. Okay, so this time we're back at the park. We just had our fight, and I'm going to apologize to her this time and see if maybe there's like an ending where they fall right back into their old routine or something like that. That's at least the only guess I can really come up with as far as what might happen in this game. I, I don't know what routes there are to take besides this one, so I'm going to apologize. Uh, I'm sorry. I know, but why are you sorry? Huh? Isn't it obvious? Uh, it's my fault. I'm sorry. I'm so ungrateful sometimes. It's fine. I always forget how much she helps me. I fall out with her so easily. I wonder if I doubt her too much. Yes, I should be more trusting of her. I can trust her more than I trust myself sometimes. And more than anyone else I've ever met. Heh. <laughs> er, heh. <laughs> it's nothing. Where would I be without her? We walked home. I decided I should stop letting stupid things annoy me so much. At least I can try. It was the day after our anniversary. I was feeling some sort of nervous excitement. It was hard to stop my hand shaking. Uh... Just thinking. Just nothing. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Come on, you can tell me anything. Really? Uh, I just worry. About what? Uh... What was that? Or being stuck? Um... What was that? Did you see that? Huh? See what? Oh, it's gone now. I saw something weird. Huh. <laughs> Are you tired or something? No, I don't feel tired. Well, maybe just relax anyway. Fine, fine. We spent the rest of the day talking about nothing important. I can never talk about anything important, especially when it comes to her. But I think that's something I just have to live with. I think I made the right decision. I think we can stay like this forever. Oh man, that's actually like way creepy to see with her glitching out. Maybe we won't be happy. But I know we won't be sad. When it comes down to it, I'm too scared to be with her or without her. I can be satisfied with a comfortable life. I don't need any answers or solutions. I think we can stay like this forever. 
Oh, okay, so that was the last ending, guys. God, that one was spooky. That one was worse than the bad ending where he just embraced it and went to the hospital because that was him growing completely content with a life of sadness and denying the fact that he was indeed sad deep down. That was a really sad game. Very messed up. I like the good ending, obviously. And once again, guys, for those of you who ever go through something like this, and you don't have to share your stories or anything like that. In fact, I probably encourage you not to do it in a YouTube comments section just because there are trolls and there are people who try to tear others down and use other stories as their weaknesses. But at the same time, like I said, if you are someone who's going through this type of thing and you feel like you need help, reach out to someone. There's always someone out there who can help you out, whether, like I said, it's someone you know already or if it's someone like a therapist, or it's someone who has been through it themselves, there's always going to be someone who can relate to your situation in some way, or at least give you the strength to push through it. So always know that, guys, because you are worth something. You are a special person, and you're great. But anyway, guys, like I said, this one took me completely by surprise, but I really enjoyed this game. I hope that you guys did as well. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.